right, I want to talk a little bit more about this, and then we'll talk about this Nordic relationship to the Pleiades, and then kind of give you a clue of where to look at so that you can see what we've got coming. All right, so 33, knowest thou the ordinances of heaven? Canst thou set the dominion thereof in earth? Now that is the famous proclamation as above, so too below. And it's being said in the same breath that we have here in relationship to the binding of this temptation and influence from Pleiades, or in relation to this bondage, the bands of Orion. So when we see ordinances, we see order. And when we see dominion, we see control. And that's what he's asking. Who, he's saying, knowest thou the ordinances of heaven? Who has set this order of control thereof in the earth that comes from the heavens? And he's talking about these fallen sons of God. And this is the connection that I told you that these fallen sons of God come from other worlds. And then here's them representing these individual constellational systems of which they come from. And then as we can see, Job is correctly translating this, that they have brought these temptations and these influences via these other star systems. Okay? And that they have created bondage that needs to be loosed. Okay? Based upon these influences. So this order is in direct relation to the new world order of which these beings have been working so hard for all this time. It's the same order. It's the same order that they are trying to create here on earth, that they are trying to do away with the way of Jesus Christ and create this new order that excludes him in your relationship to him. Now, it has a deeper meaning in the sense that not only is it just in that light, but the actual megalithic and monolithic structures that we've talked about, that they are aligning these constellations, these monuments to these constellations with, they themselves are exhibiting a certain amount of control over the terrestrial energy, which means the terrestrial physics of our world, okay? And when you talk about the earth, you talk about magnetic field, and you talk about different levels of unseen energy manifestation. And all of that has an effect on us in the spiritual. For all intent and purposes, it is the earth's spiritual unseen energy, and that these beings themselves are manipulating it. And they're manipulating it for a purpose to bring about this order that these locusts themselves are about to prepare the way for and of course the politicians of the world are preparing the way for it seems that everybody is working for this order but unfortunately this order is coming from those of the fallen and you've got two choices here my friends you can see this as proof for aliens coming from all far world in constellations and creating these monuments because that's how it's going to be presented to you. They're going to use these verses to say in effect that your own Bible supports them as being the creators of our world and our civilization. What I'm trying to do is yank this magic carpet that they're riding on right out from under them by giving you this very profound information of the truth of what their true nature is and how they relate directly to the spiritual program on this planet and which they themselves have rebelled from right along with Lucifer. If you don't see that they're connected to that, then you might fall to the deception when they pull the wool over your eyes and make you think that they really are aliens.